Good evening, America, and welcome to the Sloppy Bro Show. It's me, your buddy, Marcus. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but as I'm sure you're already well aware of, the Democrats, or a.k.a. Democrats, have finally done it. They've impeached our president, Donald J. Trump, today, December 18, 2019. The third president in history to have been impeached by Congress, our 45 president. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. I was most of you were not surprised. You know why we're not surprised? Because, you know, the Democrats have been saying they were going to do this since before Trump took office in 2016. They have made it their their mission in life to out to try and out this president. Luckily, though, it still has to go before the Senate for a conviction, which I pray to God doesn't happen. I don't think it'll happen since we do have the majority in the Senate. But, you know, never say never. Anything is possible. But I even hate to think that. But like my dad always said, expect the worst, hope for the best. But, yeah, I mean, if you've been following this impeachment inquiry, for you know, since October, this whole thing's been bullshit. It's all been fabricated. It's been nothing but lies, hearsay, innuendo, no, no evidence, nothing concrete. The Democrats have been changing the rules every chance they get. You know, they wouldn't let Republicans call their own witnesses. You know, we never got to question the whistleblower, you know, it's, you know, just been one sham after another. And, you know, Nadler and, you know, Shifty Schiff, believe me, there is a special place in hell for the two of you, along with you, Pelosi. You guys have ripped the country apart. You have shit on the 63 million voters who voted for this president. It is disgusting and disgraceful what you guys have done. And as far as the squad, AOC, and her people, you guys are just as much as blame as anybody with your socialist fucking agenda. But, you know, it is what it is. We knew this was going to happen. You know, but the shit on 63 million, man, don't give me that, well, you know, Hillary Clinton, you know, had 65, 65 million votes by the popular vote. Well, yeah, she did. But, you know, Trump won with the majority of Electoral College, and that's what wins the election. The, the popular vote doesn't. And luckily our forefathers were smart enough to write it that way in the Constitution so that a small demographic of the majority in different areas of the country couldn't decide elections for everybody in the entire country. You know, so the little man had a chance and a say and a vote. But, you know, you guys are pissed off because, you know, you didn't get the 2016 election. Um, now you're trying to rob the 2020 election. I mean, if anybody obstructed Congress or broke the law, it's the fucking Democrats. I mean, look at the FISA, you know, court. You know, I mean, they were fucking, you know, wiretapping Trump and his associates at the beginning of the election. You know, don't tell me that's not legal. You know, not to mention all the bullshit that Obama got away with during his presidency. Fast and furious, fucking illegal drone strikes, you know, fucking money to Iran, you know, trading United States You know, trading fucking shit for goddamn, you know, prisoners of war with the fucking terrorist groups. You know, I mean, the list goes on and on. And, you know, Republicans didn't do shit. But, you know, Republicans are also to blame, too. You know, don't think that you're you're off scot-free, though. I will commend there were some, one, some really good ones that came through during this impeachment inquiry. Jordan gets... You know, those two guys, uh, Collins, you know, all those guys, you know, really fought hard and were honorable 
you know, and trying to defend this president, you know, try to keep this from happening. Uh, it just didn't go in their favor. But I tell you, you know, it, it's, it's, the whole thing really pisses me off. You know, the way conservatives get treated in this country right now, the fact that you support this president automatically makes you a racist, a bigot, a homophobe, Islamophobe, you know, wearing a Trump 2020 hat or make America great hat will literally, you know, cause fights in the damn streets, you know, and Tifa will jump your ass, you know, hell, regular liberals will jump your ass if they've got the numbers and think they have the advantage. I mean, look at that poor boy on the school bus. I know everybody's seen that video. He wasn't even wearing a hat. He just said he supported Trump and got his ass kicked, you know, by a group of teenagers, you know. But that's not a hate crime, you know. Now, if that had been reversed, if it had been a group of white kids, you know, jumping on a black kid, you know, for being an Obama supporter, that you know, that'd be a hate crime in a damn minute. You know, but the Democrats, the rules for them are completely different, you know, for the rules for Republicans, and it's pathetic. You know, we're all the same people. You know, we all bleed red. We all put our pants on one leg at a time. And for this kind of treatment to occur because of who you support politically, there, there's no excuse for it. You know, but the thing is, you know, when you approach these fuckheads and you try to, you know, talk to them when they're having their little protests and they're, you know, impeach Donald Trump rallies and bullshit, if, when you approach them and you try to ask, okay, you know, what exactly has he done wrong? They can't give you an answer. You know. You know, they can't they can't tell you why they hate them. Because they don't they don't know why. All they know is the media has told them to hate Trump. And that's what this all boils down to. It's the fucking media. The media has gotten so goddamn corrupt, it's turned into one big propaganda machine for the Democratic Party, you know, to push their fucking socialist, communist, you know, liberal ideologies, you know. Things that aren't going to help the country, that aren't going to help the hardworking individual. You know, these are programs that are designed for the lazy and the people that don't give a shit about this country, that, you know, just want to sit on their ass and do nothing. You know, that expect a free handout. You know, that don't want to get in and put it in the work and do the time. You know, that's what this, that's what this media does and what it promotes. And I'm fucking tired of it. I just hope that come 2020, you know, the silent majority rises up and goes out in numbers and reelects this president by the biggest landslide in history. Because I know they're out there. You know, I know the real Americans, the people that really care about this country are out there. and They're just keeping quiet because they're afraid. You know, they're afraid of getting called out and being called names, you know, and being pointed at and ridiculed and mocked and harassed, so they keep their mouth shut. So I know they're out there. And God willing, they're going to come out in droves in 2020. They're, we're going to take back the fucking House. And we're going to control the Senate. You know, we're going to have the executive. And then you're really going to see shit start to change. Because where the Republicans fucked up was back in 2016, they didn't want to work with this president. They didn't believe in him. They didn't think that he could accomplish what he was saying, what he was promising on the campaign trail. But now they've woken up. They've seen that this guy is the real deal, that he is one of the first presidents in history to do what he said he was going to do, like it or not, whether you agree with his policies or not. What he has said on the campaign trail, he has fulfilled as his duty as president. Lowest unemployment, lowest black unemployment, lowest Hispanic unemployment. You know, embassy in Jerusalem. He's pulled the troops out of the Middle East, most of them. You know, he's tried to make amends with North Korea. First president to step on North Korean soil since who knows when. You know, trying to put an end to corruption in Ukraine. Trying to put an end to corruption in Russia. You know, bringing jobs back from overseas to America. You know, making sure that trade deals are fair for all of us in the world, 
And now we got the new NAFTA agreement coming out. You know, it's going to help our farmers and our agriculture. Whether you like it or not, this president is draining the swamp. And that's why the majority of American people love him and support him. You know, and that's why the majority were against impeachment. You know, the polls ain't going to show you that and ain't going to tell you that. But there are polls out there that prove the majority of Americans are done with this impeachment bullshit because they know the Democrats didn't have anything. They had no quid pro quo. They had no evidence. They knew this was bullshit. What they wanted to do was that for the Democrats to set this shit aside and get to work and start helping our fellow Americans by passing laws that are going to make a difference, reducing prescription drugs, you know, working on health care. But no, Democrats, they just want to go on with their bullshit. But that's okay. 2020 is just around the corner. We'll see then. We'll see for real what the American people think. You know, and what they want. They're going to show us because we're going to get out there and we're going to vote and we're going to come out in numbers like you've never seen before. So you guys can have your little impeachment victory. Like I said, hopefully it doesn't pass in the Senate, but we'll see. But anyway, I could go on and on and on, but honestly, I'd really like to catch the end of the the Trump rally in Michigan. Because I'll tell you one thing, he can give a good, a good damn rally. He can. So... I'm going to enjoy that, and then afterwards I'm going to watch a little Tucker Carlson, and then it's back to the damn workplace in the morning to finish out another 40-hour week. Anyway, for those of you that are new to the show, if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, punch that notification bell, so that way when I do put a video up, you guys are the first to see it. And for you guys that support me and continue to support me, I can't thank you enough. I love you all. And I hope, like hell, you guys have a merry, merry Christmas. I do intend on doing a live stream Friday night, so if you're up and around for that and want to Skype in, feel free, you know, or come in through the chat. Either way is good with me. I've been having issues trying to get the damn phone calls to work. Something screwy going on there, so it's going to be a while so I can get that going again. Apparently, there's some equipment I need to get to make that happen correctly if I want it to work well. So, got to save up them ducats. But anyway, America, keep your head up. You guys in the fight, keep fighting. Keep moving forward. Don't let them knock you down. And if they do knock you down, get your ass up. And you keep going ahead because that's what we do. We don't give up and we don't quit. Because, God damn it, we love this country, and we'll do whatever we can to save and protect it. God bless everybody. God bless you all. You guys have a good one. And as always, I'll catch you fuckers on the flip side. Cheers.